some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a Whole Foods store with a fraudster who doesn't seem to understand the concept of privately owned and open to the public. Well, he may not understand it, but he's certainly going to try to educate everybody on public forums. But unfortunately, he is going to learn the hard way uh, that he is entirely wrong and get trespassed and removed from the property. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Are you a manager here? Yeah, I'm just, I have a question. Are you a manager? No, I can record in public. I'm, I'm in, no, I can because you're open, it's open a foot, it's open a foot patch only at night. Only at, only at night. Is this private property? When the, when the store is closed. Uh, no, dumbass. Uh, Whole Foods, just like any other corporation, is a privately owned company open to the public. May basically meaning you go in there, you've got to follow their rules, or they will trespass you and kick you out. It's as simple as that, dude. In fact, I can remember many years ago when I started working for Walmart and on the first day of orientation, that's one of the main things that they will tell you is that the Walmart is a privately owned company open to the public and they will use that to their advantage to kick anybody out who they feel is not going to hold up to the standards they desire. So basically troublemakers such as yourself. Oh, by the way, I don't have any clue as to who this guy is. I just saw him on Kenny Klein's channel. Uh, on a live stream done by Hezekiah. So I figured I'd put my two cents in on the count that this guy is a complete ignoramus. All right, call the cops then. No, it, I can record here. I'm going to have them educate you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, not when it's open to the public. Not when it's open to the public. That's outside. When it's open to the public, it's public. When it's open, when it's closed at night, it's private. You are so lame. Uh, no, dude. Uh, it's privately owned no matter what. 100% of the time. So, get your facts straight, dude. Go to school and learn something. Oh, I know my, I know my, I know my rights. I know my rights. Why is the, why does the security guy have handcuffs and a baton like he's gonna beat someone? Huh? Does the security guy have the right to carry handcuffs and a baton? All right. No, I'm going to wait till the cops get here. It's not private property. I'm food shopping with my family, and the security guard scared me with a baton in his, in his handcuffs. Go ahead. It's not private property at all. I'm food shopping. Go ahead. Get them here. They'll, I'm going to make them educate you, because this is public when it's open during the day and private at night when the doors are closed. That's how it works. All right. We'll see when they get here. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. Hey, you work here. Why does the security guard have handcuffs and a baton like he's going to beat somebody? What is your name? He, no, he's the manager. All right, what's your name? What's your name? Oh, you're not going to give me your name either? Oh, I'm not harassing nobody. I just want, I got scared when I saw that, that police officer security looking guy. Who, he's not even a real cop. He's, he, he's, you know what that is? That's the color of law. He's, via, he's pretending to be a cop when he's not. Oh, you sad, pathetic, poorly educated imbecile. The color of law has to do with civil rights, you freaking moron. It has nothing to do with anybody impersonating a police officer. Maybe you should go out and watch some Sovereign Citizen videos because most of them try to at least use the color of law argument in the proper way. But you, sir, are a complete moron. That's against the law. He's breaking the law. I'm educating you right now. This is my First Amendment right. 
Your store does not trump my rights. I have the right to record in public. No expectation of privacy in public. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. You'll see. I'm gonna go about my, my day and go food shopping. Go in. And you know what? I'm gonna send this to corporate too. That your security guard is armored up like an army man, like he's military. And you won't identify yourself. So corporate will be getting a copy of this. And you know what? You're live on YouTube right now, and there's about 500 people watching. So. Have fun. Like he was gonna beat some. Here we go. Here's the police. How you doing, officer? Um. Shake your hand. I'll give you one of those. My my name's Ray. Um, I'm I'm a one A auditor. Okay. All right. And when I walked in here, I was exercising my First Amendment right to record in public. Well, it's public because it's open to public foot traffic. It is during the day. It's, it's private. That's All right, but public. listen, this is the problem. Okay, this fine. is the problem. The security guard yeah. has one of those batons. Okay. It's a felony to carry those okay. in the state. He, and he has handcuffs. And he has handcuffs. He's and he's special. not. Are you sure? He, can, I, can I see his license to carry? I don't What's your badge number? My badge number is 1320, as you can see right here. Okay. I don't have any jurisdiction over them, but they are special. They, they've, had these, they've had specials here for years. Well, well, well then they, why, when I ask him a question, he can't answer? That's all it was. I just wanted, I just went up and asked him a question. I'm trying to talk to you and you're not letting me talk. Okay, go ahead. All right, you're trying to talk over me. That's not how it works. I'm trying to help you out. All right? I understand what you're saying. You're a First, first Amendment auditor. I have no problem with the First Amendment. Right? I know, That's but the they do. The reason we have the First Amendment, the, the reason we have the Second Amendment is to protect your First Amendment. All right? Mm -hmm. it's a, and it's infringible, yeah. But what I'm saying right now, this, right now, is a private organization that welcomes the public. But I'm food shopping with my family. Right. I have a reason right now, to be here. Right, your family can stay and shop, but right now I'm gonna ask you to leave. And if you don't leave, you are something to arrest for trespassing. Because You're gonna arrest me if I don't leave? I don't want to. I, 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 for trespassing? For what? What did I do wrong? This is management. Right now you're being trespassed. For, for what? You won't. They're asking you to leave. You won't. Okay. So All right. I'm. You know what, officer? I don't want to get arrested. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave, but I'm gonna report them for being unconstitutional, and they want to identify themselves. And I'm calling corporate, and you're all gonna hear about it. And you're live on YouTube, so say hi. You're all gonna be big stars. Say hi, officer. Well, you. I didn't record you. You're live. It's not recording. You're live. All right. I'm out of here. Yeah. Well, as you guys can see, Whole Foods is unconstitutional. The, the officer didn't uphold his oath. He didn't uphold his oath to, with, to upstand the Constitution. All right. All right, I'm leaving. But, but, but he didn't uphold his oath. What's your badge number? 4955. What, hey, what's your badge number? 1009. What's his badge number? No, what's your badge number? 5122. All right, none of you upheld the Constitution today. The First Amendment, my First Amendment right to record in public. You took an oath. You all went against your oath. All right? No, you did because this is the this is public. When it's open to public foot traffic, it is. But it's open to the public, so I can record here. Yeah, you did. You're going against your oath. You're going against your oath. You all are. You all are. You all are. You all are. I know. I know. But you all went against your oath. Just so you know. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you got that right. And you're about to mention some uh, frauditors who are a lot better than this guy who actually know the game. But anything that's open to the public, we have the right to record. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. That's what the First Amendment says. No expectation of, pri like right here, of no privacy of, of the right in public. Yeah, pu this guy actually just said that the First Amendment states that there is no expectation of privacy in public. You gotta be kidding me. That. Well, you are the have to be one of the most poorly educated people that I have ever seen. That little statement right there came from an apparent court ruling somewhere. 
I don't recall the n exact name of it, but it's quoted by Sean Paul Reyes all the time, and I've actually looked it up from time to time, and it says absolutely nothing about it, so... Written in public. Yeah. Once you step inside those doors, you're in a private establishment. But it's you different. can still record there. No, you can't. Yes, it's you can. All right. So, you so you're saying, so you're saying, tourists from like you're from wrong. Europe don't okay. come and ever record. Listen, listen, listen. In, you've okay, never seen anybody camera? record. You're wrong. Okay. All right. Why don't I? I've dealt with all Josh right. Abrams. I've dealt with all the other first. Oh, you know Josh? Of course. Yeah, I know Josh. And I understand, and I know. Yeah. I understand all this. I'm for it. Now. All right. But you're wrong. All right. In I'll, this, in this case, you're wrong. All right. I'll look up. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. I will. You're wrong. But that's cool. All right, but been, I, but hey, besides I yelling at us, you've been a gentleman. Other than when they hey, I in. just talk a little loud. I'm That's sorry. Fine. I didn't mean to yell. That, I wasn't trying to yell. Other than that, you have a good day. Yeah. And, you know, I'm gonna go sit over there on the benches. I'm not gonna go back in and bother them. Go ahead. Just don't go in. I promise. In, I won't. Have to lock you up. No, I'm not going in. I'm not. Right now you're being told you're trespassing. So it's fine. It's, it's done. Right. You know what? I don't like this place anyway. They're a bunch of yuppies. I don't trust here either. I know. I don't have any clue who this guy is. I don't know what his channel name is. I just saw him on Kenny Klein's channel, and I just had to have something to say about how poorly educated this guy is. Now, to me, it sounds like all he does is watch fraudster videos all day long, absorbing all that bad information. And doesn't take the time to see if it's actually true or not. I mean, this is the example of what these fraudsters' audience is li are like. Poorly educated and as dumb as a brick. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.